Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are today back on the full craft server. Once again, I'm still alone, but that's okay. Um, so people will probably be back. People have been coming on, so uh, things will get better in a little while. So we're back here. We're doing some Batania work again today to do the achievements or the advancements. I keep saying that. I keep messing that up. So we're going to start that in just a second. Um, but first, I want to say thank you to everybody for continuing to like the videos and for the new subscribers. If you're new here, please subscribe. Subscriptions are very, very important for YouTube creators. So um, I'm still trying to get better and get more subscribers and kind of grow my channel. So please, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so we're going to go into this right now. We're going to look at the advancements. And we're going to the ones for Batania. Now, a lot of this stuff here was by Terra Steel. We had one up here called Create a Mana Enchanter. Okay. Now, this thing is kind of uh, strange because it's got a, like a layout that you have to do. I went out to here and I went out to the index, I believe, and looked at what it takes. So let's take a look at that again. The Mana Enchanter. Is it just Enchanter? Now, where is it? There it is. Enchanting with Mana. Basically, it's a device you set up. It takes right here. It says ten or seven. Sorry, excuse me. Seventeen obsidian blocks, which we have. Ten mystical flowers. We have that of any color. Six mana pylons and a lapis lazuli block. So the mana pylons is what we need to make. That's the big one. So let's look what the mana pylons take here. Okay, a mana pylon. It just takes all of that, which we have most of that. So let's make a bunch of those. Okay. And what else does it take? We said it takes obsidian, right? So let's get the obsidian out. There we go. It takes mystical flowers. Uh, let's go with... I don't know. Let's go with some red ones. I grabbed that. I thought there it went. Okay. And a lapis lazuli block, right? So we got all of that. Now let's go back to the book and see what it says to do here. The instructions on how to assemble this structure are on the following pages. So it looks like it's just the, the blocks there and the flowers and the flowers. Okay, so let's go up here. We're going to try to visualize this again. There we go. Hmm. It looks like three and three, right? Okay, so let's get out of this thing. Trying to get out of here. Oh, we gotta go back to the book because I unvisualized. There we go. And I'm having a lot of trouble with this. Okay, so let's go. Let's put this down here. And we know it's three here, and three here, and three here. Okay, that's twelve of our seventeen, right? Three, six, six. So where are the other ones at? Where did they go? Is it? Is it? Uh, hmm. It doesn't really give you instructions on how to place it, does it? I wish I could just like grab it from the inventory and work it, but it's not going to work that way. We do know that the uh, the uh, what should we call it? The lapis goes on the center block, and then those goes on the corners. Okay, let me go for a little bit, take a look a little bit more about this. This is kind of confusing me with this whole visualized thing going on. Okay, okay, I think I might have figured this out, and I'll try to work this with you here. Basically, it's. Three, 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 and three on the side. That's twelve. Plus, you put in here five more, leaving these spaces here. Now, what we need to do is put some dirt so we can plant the flowers on it. That's where I was kind of getting some confusion on, on this. So let's put the dirt down here. Okay, so there we go. Now these flowers here go. We need four of them here, like that. Okay. Now we have to do the other spots where we have the flowers and the pylons. And this is where I'm also a little bit confused, but let's see if we can do that. Can we put the pylon on top of the flower on the top part? Yes, we can. So there we go. And it's like like here, I believe. Another flower. And another pylon on top of there. Now, where is the other parts? And it, I think it's on the sister right here, but like right in this spot here. So we'll do one here. And where is the top of that? It's hard to see it. There we go. It's very hard to see some of this sometimes because of the way the, the lighting is. Like there, it's easy to see the block. Okay. We're almost done here. And then I got to get a wand, and hopefully that'll create it. Wow. 
Wow, that's off center, isn't it? Okay, so that should work. And now the only thing we need to do is you need to get that uh, the wand, which I think was oh, right here. Here we go. You should just have to right click it. I did something wrong. Maybe you need to go to out one. I don't know. Let's go to visualize here. I thought I placed those in the right place. Go in, visualize. So hard to see with this thing. You know, I don't know. Let's go look at the, let's go back into the book here. Okay, so see how maybe they're up another block higher than the others. Do you know what I mean? Let me go and fix that and see if that works. Okay, it looks like I was off by one block, which caused the whole thing to not work. So we've reset all of these. There we go. Now we should just be able to hit this with this. And there it is. We got that achievement done. Don't know how to use it, but we got the achievement. Advancement. Darn it. Advancement. All right, the next advancement, I'm going to go with this one because it doesn't have anything off of it. So we'll get this one done, and then we'll go through this line here. This one is arm yourself with a weapon made of terra steel. Okay, so I looked up terra steel here. We're going to make the terra blade. It takes that, and we need to get the living twig, which we have there. There we go. And here it is. There it is. We got remote paranoia. That's another achievement. Advancement done. The next advancement has us creating a portal to the realm of Alfheim. Now, looking in the book here, it tells you you need eight living wood blocks. That's easy. Uh, three glimmering living wood, which is just living wood with glowstone. And I've made those already. We need an elven gateway core, two mana pools. So I picked up our mana pools that we had over there. They probably lost their mana, but we can get that back fairly quickly. And two natura pylons. So let's get the elven gateway core. The elven gateway core... It takes living wood and terra steel nuggets. Okay, so if we get the terra steel nuggets, we have this right here. Let's get rid of the glowstone. There we have nine nuggets. Okay. Now, if we do the terra or the core, where is it? El not eleven. Elven gateway core. There we go. Okay, we got that one there. Don't need more living wood. Let's go back in here. The last thing we need to do is we need two of these, two Natura pylons, which means we got to get two mana pylons, and that should be fairly easy to do too. Uh, okay, so let's go out here. Two mana pylons. We know how to do that pretty easy. One, two, and then we'll go to Natura pylons, which we need Eye of Enders, which we can do that. That's easy. There we go. Okay, so we should have pretty much everything we want inside of our inventory. So let me get this and now I'll figure out how to place it and then we'll see if we get this achievement, advancement. Okay, here we go. It looks like this is just a ring. The glimmering pieces are in the sides and the top and the core is at the center at the bottom. Okay, so we have these are the blocks. Let's put the core in. I'm going to put the core right here. And we'll just start to build this out. Now, I don't know if you need to have these pieces here or not. So I'm going to put a little like, piece for now, and we'll dig that out. Okay, so this is here. There we go. And then let's go up here. Man, these boots are great. <laughs> this, this, and here. And then once again, we're going to do this. And one up here. Okay, so that should be the portal. And then it says that you have to have mana pools in the area with those um, pylons on top of them. So let's go right here. I'm going to put them right in front. I'm not sure if this is necessary. But I'll do that. And you can see it's already kicked on there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the wand. I'm going to point this one at there. Okay, so they should kick on and start to fill that up, which they are. Now, I'm not sure what this portal does. I think you hit it with the wand, and there it goes. But I think, well, we got the advancement there. But I think as this gets power, it holds the portal open longer. And we may need it for the next set of advancements. But we did get the advancement here, world calling. So let's look at the next things here. What's this one say? Create a 
Bub Bell to allow for underwater base creation. A Bub Bell. Okay, what is that? A Boo Bell? Uh, okay, a Total Apothecary. This is not bad. We just gotta get Pixie Dust. That's probably gonna be the hard part. So, Cyan's. Two Cyan's, two Light Blues, two Blues, a Water, and a Summer. Okay, let me gather all these resources. Mm, pixie Dust, I don't, I'm not sure. Right, Pixie Dust is inside of the thing. So we'll do that in a second. Let me get the other pieces. Okay, let's try to get the pixie dust. If we can get this done fast enough, I can get the pearl through. Let's see if this happens. And it doesn't look like it was enough time. Okay, I'm going to give this a little bit of time to get some more of the uh, of the mana stored up in the mana pools. So give me a little bit. I filled this in so when I throw things through, it doesn't go all the way through. Let's try this out. Hopefully we have enough. There we go. Pixie dust. Excellent. Okay. Now that we have that, we got to go over here and you got to put it in there. Okay. And we need two of these, we said, right? Two of the blues. And a little bit of lag here. Two of the other ones. Come on. It's lagging again. Oh, no. Let's get the others here. Here we go. There we go. And then the two runes. Okay. And of course, you need seeds, which I always forget. How can I forget we needed seeds? And there it is. We got the achievement. I'm going to put this flower over here someplace. There we go. All right. Deep Sea Girl is done. So let's see. What is next? What's the next advancement? Uh, here we go. Collect a bottle of Ender Air. Ooh. What's a bottle of Ender Air? I guess we need to look in the book. Let's see if we can look up in the book real quick. To get the Ender Air, you have to go into the end and then use the glass bottle, which I have here. Now, I don't know if the dragon is dead or not. This portal already existed. Some of the other players have been there. So I'm assuming the dragon's dead. If it's not, I have a rail gun here. I can shoot this thing off and maybe do some damage. So we're going to go see right now. Hopefully this loading doesn't take too long. And uh, hopefully we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're here. Let's see if we can do the ender air. Does it work out here? Or do you have to be actually in the end? Because we are in the end, but do you have to like open air it? I mean, that's not working either. That's what it's said to do. Let's go read this thing again real quick. Um, right clicking with an empty glass bottle while in the end will capture some of that air, which can later be tossed. So it's not capturing it. And I don't know why. Let's just do one bottle. We are in the end. Well, there we go. See, I had to go down on the actual end stone. And we got Ender Air bottles. Excellent. So that one's done. Let's go. Well, let's not go back to base yet. Let's see what else is here. There might be an advancement else that we got to do here. What's this? Create a dream, whatever. To That's something. Flower. Another like flower thing. And this is summon and slay a Gaia guardian. Now that one I think might be tough. But we'll try that in a bit. So let's go back to base and uh, move on, okay? For the next advancement, we're going to create this, I can't pronounce it, high side. Create a high side dream. When you look at this right here, it takes two magenta petals purple, a pink one, pixie dust, and a rune of wrath. Now I've got all of that in my inventory except for the rune of wrath. And the rune of wrath just takes, and I just put my piece in there, don't do that, take that back out. Okay, it takes two of the mana diamonds here, a rune of winter, and a rune of earth. So now we wait for this to finish, and we'll have the pieces we need. It's just about done. Rock in there, there we go, and boom. Wow, got a lot of stuff out of that. Rune of Earth, a Rune of Wrath, there it is. Okay, so now we go over to here. Put this down in here, there we go. We know we need the pixie dust. Okay, two of those, one of those, one of those, and the Rune of Wrath. And of course, the seed that I always forget, right? Gotta forget the seeds, that's just the way it goes, and... There we go. We got that one done. Created that flower. Excellent. 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 
So this next advancement, create a kekimurus, a kek, I'm gonna call it the kek, to help produce large quantities of mana. Now, that's interesting, I'm not sure what that does, but that sounds really good at producing mana. But if we look at this here, it takes the pixie dust, which we have, white, orange, brown, and a rune of gluttony. Rune of gluttony is two diamonds, fire, and winter. I have fire and winter on me. I have the diamonds here. I'm gonna go and make this rune, and then we're gonna go over to the apothecary, or the, uh, what you call it here? Yeah, the apothecary, and we'll make that. Okay, let me make this rune real quick. Be right back. Okay, there we go, hit that. Hit there we go. I'll run over here, we'll go on up here. We know we need two of these, so. Two of the orange, two of the brown. The pixie dust and the rune of gluttony is right here. And there we go, and we toss the seed in, which I remember this time. And we have this. Now I'm not sure how this works, generating flower. The flower is a lie, I'm not sure. Let's go just put it right here since it's a generating flower. I'm gonna point at this thing right here. Now is it generating for us? Is it helping out? I'm not sure. But we'll see. We'll keep on going though with these uh, advancements. This next one says, craft some luminizers and use them for transport. I'm not sure how to make them for transport. I'm just gonna try to make one luminizer right now. And so when I look here, we have glowstone dust. We need red string and we need dragonstone. Now dragonstone looks like it's really easy. It's a diamond in the portal. So we can do that pretty quick. So the red string, it just takes the ender air and pixie dust, which we know. Uh, and look right down here is a different version of it. So why can't we just do that one? You know what I'm saying? So let's see here, uh, wrong one here. Pixie dust, okay, so we gotta get a pearl through here. Let's get the pearl and the diamond here. Okay, there's a pearl and there's a diamond over here, so we'll throw that one in. Pixie dust. And we got the dragon thing, okay, we're back over here now. So let's see here, let's do Luminizer, I can't spell today. Red string. Okay, we got that. And then we have that there should make a luminizer. Now, I don't know how to use this. And I haven't been able to find anything in here in the Lessica Botanica. If I type in luminizer, it doesn't show me anything. Luminizer, see? Nothing there. So I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to go and look out on the internet. And I'll be right back once I know more. All right, I've made two luminizers. I think this is a transport method. And I'm gonna just to see, I'm gonna put one here. And let's go put one out here, maybe. Let's try that. And, and I wonder if I can bind it up right here like this. Ah, they look like they linked. Now what happens, I click on this Hmm. Oop, I just busted it. That's not good. Uh, let's see if it has to be close or in like line of sight. Maybe that has to be. So I'll put it over here. That's weird, the lighting effect. That's kind of, that's actually very strange. Fine mode. Huh. There they are. Oh! There we go, we did it, we transported. That's pretty cool. Okay, well we got that uh, advancement. That's awesome. Looking at the time for this video, I think we've got time for one more. I'm gonna make it this one right here, pack a hero. This is a big fight, it looks like, and then everything off of that's chained off of this one. So we'll come back to that in the next video and finally get done with these Batania. Um, advancement. So this right here says craft a block that makes use of the corporea network. Okay, so when I go in here and I type in the corporea, you can see it takes three things. And the first thing I'm going to do is alf glass. Alf glass takes mana glass in the portal. Mana glass is just glass in the pool. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's get some glass. We'll make that piece really quick. I don't have a lot of glass compared to the other stuff. That's okay. Okay, got that. We'll throw it in there. Okay, and there we have Alf Glass. That's excellent. Okay, get out of the way here. Let's try the next one here. We wanted to go with the 
this right here. Dream wood is just, let's see, Elven Trade is living wood. That's easy. One of those, right? Through the portal. There we go. We got the dream wood. Okay, so the last piece is where that little thing at the top. It looks kind of like a spark almost, right? Corporea spark. It's a spark, pixie dust, and an air, ender air bottle. We have one more of those. So we got to get a spark. Uh, let's see, a pixie dust. Pixie dust takes one of these, so... Okay, we got that. Now we'll go out to here. And there we have that. So we should have everything we need to make this. And there we go. We got Packet Hero. I'm going to put this right here. Not sure what it does yet, but it's cool. Oh, there's a little dude again. Tiny potato. All right. So I think that's it for today. Uh, next time, we're going to go back into here. We're going to do this uh, summon and slay a Gaia. And I might have help for that. I might ask Kent. So, Kent, if you're around, you think you've got a lot of this set up. And then we'll try to do these enchants or advancements here and chance. And if there's anything else that pops up. But then we'll be done with this. And we can kind of move on with a lot of this stuff that uh, a lot of it should be easy. I mean, like, you know, we've already done that one, you know. So we'll be moving forward. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. This is going great. So, again, I am Bunny Ears Tinker 77 if you like this video, please click that like button. Pardon my farting at you. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And if you're new here, you, I see you, please subscribe. It certainly does help me out a lot. So again, thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.